everyone, it's Olivia from Girly Bunches and in this week's video I'm going to do a little review of a crochet hook. As you can see I've got two crochet hooks here and one is substantially bigger than the other. One is my old faithful crochet hook that you all should know by now and uh, yes, well worn. And here is a, another hook which looks like it's quite difficult to see and the reason I've got this blue background and probably the video is really grainy is because I've tried to block off as much light as possible but I've got so, you know I've got quite a good camera here so it's trying to pick up as much light as possible but if I just turn this off switch to on you'll see that actually what we've got here is quite dark in here now you can see now and I've got a crochet hook that um, lights up. <laughs> so if I put it down there you can't really see it but if I hold it up like that you can see that it is a light at the end of the crochet hook. So it's, I don't think it's actually at the end, I think it's inside the body here and because this is clear plastic it uh, shines the light down through the hook. So yes this is a light up crochet hook so set my camera just, I've turned it off now and I know these aren't new on the market, but um, I saw um, one that was uh, linked to me by a lady on my Facebook group, and uh, I won't mention her name just in case she faints. <laughs> but she's, you know, she's 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 a, a nice lady on my Facebook page. So if you haven't been to my Facebook page, why not pop along? There's some links down in the description box down below, and I sometimes do little videos on there that I don't post onto YouTube. So. Um, yes, the little live ones sometimes, so you can come, come and say hello. So the purpose of this video is just to see how I got on with this light up crochet hook and um, I've mentioned before that I'm not a big fan of plastic ended crochet hooks because of this squeaky noise that you get and that um, will happen on the yarn. Um, which I'm not a big fan of. It um, doesn't make my teeth go on edge or anything, but it kind of just annoys me a little bit, especially if you're doing a lot of crocheting. But, you know, um, it's quite nice to be able to see what you're doing. And I've got this dark yarn here, so I don't crochet anything in black yarn because I can't see it, quite frankly. So if I just do a few stitches and not talk, you might be able to hear what I mean. So hopefully you heard that, but um, if I just turn it on, maybe, yes, there you go. You can see actually that it does help. It isn't as bright as that. I mean, it is quite bright, but the camera's really quite sensitive, so it's picking it up quite brightly. But in black yarn, you know, it's quite difficult to see. And if the night's drawing in, you know... It's quite nice to have set gentle lighting in the evening, not necessarily have all the lights on, which is a little hard wearing on our eyes if we're trying to crochet something. So actually, you know what, this is a bit of fun and also very useful because it's pretty dark in here. I've made it like a little tent, you know, you can see how dark it is when I do that. So this is lighting up very nicely. Um, it's not too much of a distraction. I don't think you'd get away with it at the cinema, <laughs> if I'm honest. <laughs> you'd probably, I don't think you'd be able to, you know, well, I don't know, you might be able to. It's quite a nice um, sized hook as well. It's got a nice handle to it. And um, yeah, you know, they, it comes in a full range of sizes. I'll just turn it off now. It comes in a full range of sizes. So, you know, Everyone will be able, I think it goes down to a two and a half mil hook if I can get this to focus now because it's so dark in here. Uh, there we go. Um, yeah, it comes in a goes down to two and a half, and I think it goes up to eight. I'll just you know, um, I'll put that down in the um description box what sizes it goes up to, and I'll put a link to where I bought this from. If you'd uh, like to follow that link, that would help the channel <laughs> out a lot. So if I just take this uh, case off here, you can see that it takes three of these tiny little batteries, which have uh, had a bad rep in the press recently. But, you know, you, you keep things out of kiddies' ways. Uh, and, yeah, just keep this in, inside your hook, not anywhere else. <laughs> and it's uh, uh, G3A batteries. So that's three of those. So it's... You know, it's super light. It's not. It's no. Yes, it's yes, it's heavier than this one, but really, uh, 
yeah not not a lot I mean it's not like I'd sort of holding it and thinking wow that's a heavy hook or anything so yeah it's super light um yeah a bit of fun as well as being quite useful for if you have um, difficulty in seeing very well then I think this would be actually quite a useful tool for you so you know um and some people have said on the, my Facebook page that <laughs> they like to pretend that they are Harry Potter with it with a magic wand and quite frankly I consider this to be my magic wand so you know a bit of fun actually quite practical it comes in nice colors and uh yeah it's got this nice grippy bit here so if if you were wondering about this you know uh, downsides it squeaks um but that's just me and plastic hooks some people just you know prefer plastic hooks you know it's not a big deal breaker for me if I can see what I'm trying to work with and somebody wants me to make something in black then you know I'll you know I'd consider buying maybe another size of these you know I think um yeah I can't remember how much I paid for it I think it was five or six pounds so I don't know what that is converted to wherever you are but um yeah bit of fun quite practical yeah, so that's my little review on the um, the crochet light crochet hook, which I didn't mention before, did I? <laughs> so that's the name. And I'm pretty sure that uh, you've probably seen them, if not used them already. Like I say, not new to the market, but new to me. And I thought I'd give it a go. So thanks for the suggestion from the nice lady on Facebook to have a look at these uh, crochet hooks. And I hope you found this video somewhat helpful, if, if not fun. OK, so I'll be back soon with some crochet videos. And in the meantime, take care and I'll see you very soon. Thanks for watching. Bye. <laughs>